Hey YouTube, super exciting day today. So as this was being shipped over, all I did was watch walkthrough videos. <laughs> so we are contributing to all of the YouTube knowledge of different videos. 99% what I'm gonna say is probably already out there. We have some really unique parts that I do wanna ask YouTube and Reddit for. But for now, let's get started. I'm gonna put on a hat because California is in a heat wave this early October. That's really interesting. And I wasn't expecting to sweat a bunch during this filming, but we're starting with my favorite part and it is this flat bed. I'm separating this from the tripod so we could move it everything folds down so that was really cool and seemed pretty obvious but these chains can move around so you could have the back up with if i could do this in real time now we have a really wide flatbed or fold this down and convert it back to the long short flatbed. That's just, I thought that was so cool. That was my, that was like, I was just like, what? Let's put that back there. I'm gonna click everything in before we move on with the video. This is gonna be a really, really long video. I'm not going to film this in segments and pieces because I wanna give like an honest and unfiltered opinion. I want to leave that down for now because we're gonna look at all of this. I... <laughs> I don't know what 90% of this is. So this is the engine filter, which looks familiar because I have a Subaru Outback and I really need to put in our filters. I, I bought new filters. I just haven't replaced them yet. So that to me, Looks like an engine filter. Don't know what any of these wires do. This is a timing belt from all of the videos I've watched. And I think they refer to that as an actuator. The engine is for sure down here. That is our engine and it is in the back of the truck with what I think are pretty new spark plugs. These wiring look new to me. I don't know what that is. I think it might be the transmission. I'm a little worried about this. There's Definitely some maybe leakage from that thing over. Oh no, that's that's obviously the exhaust. So the exhaust connects to the filter. That makes a lot of sense. So the transmission is probably that thing down over there. Um, I'm a little bit worried about all of the rust we have. So this is probably just surface rust. And yeah, we could like make a video on sanding everything out and painting it again. But stuff like that, like how am I gonna sand that and paint that? So we might make a video on getting new coils. Another cool thing with the Subaru version, other K-Trucks have 
leaf springs. I don't know what a leaf spring is. Supposedly the coil spring is easier to work on compared to leaf springs. It, it doesn't matter. We are a Subaru family, so we're getting the Subaru one. Let's keep working. The, the company we bought is this one. It was really easy, but after reading some reviews, they do kind of like paint or you could see like it's kind of spray painted or they try to hide the, the frame down here. Like, I think this is really serious rust that they just painted over it and I am a little bit nervous about that. It doesn't matter. More YouTube videos to make. The, the battery looks new. Should probably. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. Oh, there it goes. This thing over here is supposed to be a foothold. You could step into it and get in to the back if needed. The, the fuel is on this side. It has a cap, so you have to open, you have to use the key to open this, and then we could get gas. This looks really clean. The outside, <laughs> not so much. Might be buying a new part soon. The other unique thing about the Sambar is it has a very large gas tank. I think all of this is like, uh, I don't know, like eight, 10 gallon tank. So it could travel a little bit farther than other K trucks. Here's another view of all of this rust on the bottom. I, I don't know what we're gonna do. I know you could like sand it and paint it, but that's a lot of sanding and <laughs> painting. We'll see what happens. The tires and wheels are awesome. I know the four pattern 11, no, it's a 12. Rims are pretty rare. This is a 145R12LT. Obviously, we're able to get them in the US. Just might be a little bit of a weight. Same thing with all of the other parts. All right, let's go inside. Surprisingly, this pocket here comes off really easily, so I'm glad we have one. This is the door handle. Get door handle here, opens the door. The locks work. Gotta press that down and yeah. Beautiful. Window is obviously manual. Got a cup holder here with our passenger seat. I'm a little bit nervous about all of this. Like this looks really rough. Like maybe they just duct taped it and then like painted it. I don't know. It's a little bit more severe on the other side. Let's look under the car real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely rusted. It's... That's 
got holes in there. Uh oh. Might make a how to replace. I don't know metal parts soon. It doesn't matter. The truck was like a thousand six hundred dollars, which is obviously some money, but if I could get decent use out of this and a lot of learning experiences. Mirrors fold in. Plenty of YouTube videos to come. The, oh, the passenger has a little latch here to get to your storage. We have light bulbs that came with the truck. So that's pretty cool and some tools. And under the passenger side, we have this little plastic part. I don't even know if that's supposed to latch or not. With our coolant and windshield wiper fluid. I've seen a video where they could put a battery here if you don't want your battery to be exposed to the public. But yeah, this is kind of a fun hobby. So if all of those rusts are 100% detrimental, then does this plug in? That doesn't reach the... I don't know. We're going to put that in there just for now and finish this video. Uh, but yeah, if, if the rust is just completely eating the car, we would have a fun time trying to restore it. I thought, I thought this was really, they just wrote the boat names on the car. Initially, it was supposed to be shipped with Prestige. Ended up coming with Clover. The front doesn't really have too much to talk about. Let's check the bottom. Bottom looks pretty good. All right, let's keep going around. We're, we're missing a fastener and this fastener is loose. <laughs> it's all right, it's a 30 year old car. Love my Subies. Oh, the Windshield wipers look pretty clean, so pretty happy they exchanged those. This side mirror also folds in. We got the antenna on this side. Doesn't extend, which is fine. This, this is interesting. They have different fasteners, so I, I don't, care about this but they have like a square plastic one and then a metal nail looking one and another plastic one so that's fun i'm glad the lock works now we're in the driver's seat. The, <laughs> the seat belt doesn't really work, so we're making a seat belt video on how to fix seat belts. We have we have a lot of 
these empty spots and one of the videos I watched, they said it's supposed to be for the van version because the van version will have extra vent over here instead of only two in the middle, extra vent over here. And these would be buttons for extra van life stuff. The seat is pretty comfy. I am about six foot. I don't think this is too cramped for me. Let's get her started. Uh-oh. Well, the windshield wipers work. So windshield wipers is on the left and the signaling is on the right. Beautiful. I've only driven it 500 feet just off port. I'm going to check if those actually work. The emergency. Times. That one doesn't work. Back works. Let's try the other stuff. Brights work. Try to get a different angle. It's kind of funny when you do the brights. <laughs> the engine <laughs> struggles for a little bit, so it's like, let's go brights. Same thing with the regular. So we have regular, oh, we have, uh, oh, we got forever brights. So if you push all the way front, you get forever brights. So all the way back is everything off. <laughs> I just can't get over the engine struggling with that. We have no air conditioning. We have heat. This should work. I just tested it. Yeah, we got some, we got some airflow. These two are clearly different because you could listen to like something is something is closing and opening between those. And these change too. So like I am clearly feeling my foot having some airflow compared to that one. The shifter and everything seems to function normally. We have one, two, three, four, five reverse. And there's like an extra low gear. I don't know if it's on this, but, but this is one and you can go extra low if you like. And once, once you go on extra low, the all wheel drive should light up. Yeah. So we're in extra low, coming out of extra low, no more all wheel drive. There is also a chill out all wheel drive button there to turn it on and off. The stick and everything feels really good. The radio is, this is aftermarket. This is 
uh, NPR. We got. Talk to them about things I thought were important, and they agreed. I, I we got FM radio. The original models in Japan is only AM radio, so whoever put that in saved me some time. The emergency brake. I'm gonna turn this off because it's starting to stink a little bit. All right, let's see. So the driver's side does have the, the seat mover, so you can move the seat up a little bit if you like. When, when I first did that, I found a, found a jack stand back here. Like, that's sweet. Let's get it back to all the way back because I'm kind of a large human being. And everything over here is, oh, we have, we have our mileages. I think this was like the last service. It says 15600. We are currently at 156. 719. Oh, I think the light's on. How do I turn that off? Okay, well, hopefully that's off so the battery doesn't die. This, oh, this over here is what I was saying on the other side. They duct tape paint something that looks really kind of suspicious let's check it out down here it doesn't, it doesn't look that bad on this side maybe it is oh geez okay maybe it does look kind of bad here's, here's a better filming spot i don't even know it's like melted or something. Well, we're still happy with it, so I don't really care. Here's probably some more of the spray paint job. This part I see in a lot of videos where there's a lot of wear and tear because that's how we get in and out of the truck. And yeah, you can kind of see where the new paint starts and where the old paint ends. We're all done with the front. The only new thing, and I've never seen this in any of the videos, is this. <laughs> so. So I'll definitely check, you know, the top. We, we have a tear here, but it's from this thing. I have no idea what that is. Like, yeah, visor makes sense, but what is this? It has two hinges, so this can come down and this could like, I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to go from like here to here or it's supposed to stay up and go from here to here. This makes more sense to me because that would explain the damage up here. But I still have no idea what that is. So this, I'm gonna post on Reddit and <laughs> ask for help. But beyond that, the top looks really good. I don't know what any of this Japanese says. Visor looks really good. The, oh, the, the light 
turns on. It's, it's like, how, is, how does that even work? Okay. I, I don't know if I showed this. This is brake fluid, I believe. We're hopefully going to not need to add that anytime soon. Let's, let's bring the, let's bring this side up because I think we already showed everything we needed to. All right, third time's a charm. Besides down here, we have, we have our spare, which is awesome. We have our coolant and more painted rust. I don't know. All the videos I've seen, this isn't a glossy material and I'm worried this is rusted through. So we're gonna do some research and maybe figure out how to eventually fix that. Got our foothold here and there's nothing more we need to cover. Maybe the stickers. It's got a So, first of all, it's, it's a Subaru. We are a Subaru family. I have an Outback. And it has a still. I have a still chainsaw. It has Patagonia. We love our Patagucci. There's... Uh, should be, yeah, we have one jacket here. There should be like more jackets. But yeah, there, oh, the lights are on. Let's turn those off. There we go. There is our little K truck that was meant to be when I saw the stickers, I was just like done deal. This is the only one the website had. It was under 2,500 for us to skip the, uh, shipping bond and yeah, next video, hopefully we could get it registered somewhere. I, <laughs> I love it so much. Video number 180 done.